In a career spanning more than two decades, Mariah Carey has sold more than 200 million albums, making her one of the best-selling music artists of all time. But now the pop diva is a wife and mother of twins and is starting a high-profile new chapter. ABC's Barbara Walters is here to tell us all about it. Barbara? Cynthia, I have interviewed Mariah Carey three times over the past decade, and she's always seemed to me to be vulnerable and revealing, and never more so than when we sat down for a no holes barred talk about life and music, her twins, and her new role as a judge on American Idol. Now, she was expecting to be the only female judge on Idol, but then she found out that there would be another, Nicki Minaj, and that caused sparks, as you will hear. But we begin with that incredible voice that catapulted Mariah to superstardom. Bring it, on. Oh, it is just past 2 a.m. at a recording studio in New York City. Mariah Carey is putting the finishing touches on her new track, not yet released, a song she wrote and performed for the president called Bring It On Home. And it could be her next big hit, one of dozens for the diva with the golden voice. In the two decades since she burst on the scene with top of the chart singles like Emotions and Fantasy, Mariah Carey has sold more than 200 million albums, officially making her the best-selling female artist of all time. There's some Grammys, These are Grammys. Grammys are Vibe Awards. In a tucked away corner of her palatial New York City penthouse, accolades from an unparalleled career. I look at the cases and I'm like, wow, this is not so easy. bad. I did all right. A lot more than all right. And all we can do. This mother of two is not only an accomplished singer, songwriter, and producer, she also had critical success as an actress in the movie Precious. But you're gonna have to talk to somebody if you want your check, sweetie. Whoa. Now, there is a new chapter in her life. This is the American dream. American Idol is starting its 12th season next week with Mariah Carey on the judges panel. You do have a phenomenal voice. The rumor is that you have been paid $18 million a season. Am I in the ballpark? I think we're in the ballpark, but the, you know, that's, I, I can't even talk about that. That'll do it for me. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. But it's not Mariah's salary that's drawing Give attention these credits. days. It's her relationship with exactly. fellow judge, Nicki Minaj. TMZ released this video in October of a heated argument between the two divas during an audition in North Carolina. After the cameras were off, Mariah claims that Nikki went too far, making physical threats against her, which I reported on The View. She said that when Nikki walked off the set, multiple people heard Nikki say, if I had a gun, I would shoot that effing bitch. Ooh. Did you take what she said seriously? It felt like an unsafe work environment. Anytime anybody's reeling threats at somebody, you know, that's just, it's not appropriate. I mean, I've got two babies, I'm not gonna take any chances. So yeah, I did hire more security. I just felt it was the appropriate thing to do. Nicki Minaj has denied saying anything about a gun, calling it a fabrication. And when we asked her for a comment for this story, her representative told us she said what she's saying on this topic. Okay, I'll take it. Got it Perhaps that also includes the lyrics to Nicki's newest single. So mad that the queen or idol, huh? Nicki recently released a song. It's called Hell Yeah, it's about American Idol, and she says, I'm quick to check a bitch if she is out of line. Are you the bitch she's singing about? Don't know. Don't know what she's singing. I didn't know she sang. I thought she rapped or whatever. Do you think this fight is detracting from American Idol? I think it's a classic, classy show, and it didn't need this. I really think it was just a crass moment. This public battle 
isn't the only challenge Mariah Carey faced. Her husband of five years, Nick Cannon, the host of a rival show, America's Got Talent, suddenly fell ill last year. Nick was hospitalized for kidney failure. How serious was it? And how is he now? It was very serious, but he's got some great doctors who really got in there and helped him out. And at this point, he's doing great. He's better than ever. His struggle with that life-threatening illness inspired her recently released song, Triumphant. So you keep on climbing. I was just trying to encourage people to never give up. The two have something else to rejoice over. They're twins, a boy, Moroccan, and a girl, Monroe. And this past April, they celebrated their first birthday, a family trip to Paris. And surrounded by adoring fans, the power couple renewed their vows on the Eiffel Tower. I'm the favorite uncle. For now, Mariah is staying close to home, taking every opportunity she can to spend quality time with the twins and maybe a few special guests. Rock, we were playing the piano. And next week, Brandy and Mariah will be together again on the Idol Judges panel. And Mariah says she and Nikki have now made up. For me, ultimately, this is about the kids, the contestants. I've been blessed to live my dream more than half my life, so I want to help give that back to someone else. Mm. Our thanks to Barbara Walton.